Mac back again. How are we all today, guys? Uh, today, guys, going to do a quick update. It's my last day off, so I uh, just had four days off. Managed to get a couple days of progress here and there when I could, so I thought I'd give you a quick look and also do a couple of shout outs. Um, first shout out is for NATO N A T E O M N. I'll put it up down the bottom and show you a photo. There's a new guy, uh, he basically did a video for me for the 1934 kit. Uh, it was pretty cool. He actually had exactly the same kit, but it was for all the spare parts I had. So it was pretty much a different box, different set of instructions, but the same kit. So that was interesting. So. Thanks for doing that mate, he's starting to put up a few videos of all his builds, so go over and check him out, uh, subscribe to his channel, so welcome to the community bud, I know you've been watching for a while, but it's good to see you got a video going, so that was good, and next one was for QA Dano, I think that's how you say it mate, all the way up there in Alaska. Uh, he's the guy I did the video request for on the auto wear paint. Um, he's just started doing his own videos as well. Um, I've probably watched, I think he put two or three up now. And yeah, he's got a pretty cool setup. Uh, he's doing some pretty cool stuff. So go and check him out as well, guys, and subscribe to him. And yeah, that's about it for that. I'll grab the phone and give you a quick look what's been going on. Alright, so I've come over here, street charger, I've had a change of heart, as you know it was red, now it's purple, I'll show you why in a sec, and this hood, man I was doing some graphics on the body yesterday, and I went, thought oh, I might as well do the hood while I'm going, put it on so it all matches up properly, and couldn't find it anywhere. Checked in my box, checked everywhere that it should have been, nowhere to be found. And I'm thinking, where the hell could it have gone? And last time I saw it, it was hanging there. And I looked down and my bin's there, sure enough. I go digging through my bin, guys, and it's in the bottom of the bin. And I've been pouring paint and water and all sorts of crap in there for, like, the whole day. So I had to sand it all back and I resprayed it last night. Didn't come up too bad on the respray, but... I'm just hoping the finish looks the same as the car. And change the interior. Did some purple on that as well. It's pretty cool. You can still sort of see the red through it in spots. And the reason I did that, I uh, mentioned I wanted to try some graphics. Uh, I did the Doc the Cranky onion bag trick. And yeah, it's pretty subtle, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, I'm going to have to redo the boot, you can just see it, I didn't quite have it down tight enough. And then follow it around the sides, and taped up a stripe, did it all the way up the front. So I'm hoping once I do a clear coat it pops a bit more. But yeah, I was pretty happy with that for a first attempt, I don't know if I'm going to try and sand that back and redo it, see how I go. but. And 1934 Ford Custom Pickup. Uh, tried something different, new paint system. Uh, I used to do a hobby with all the woodworking stuff, and I used to use this stuff from the hardware store to paint that. Uh, it's quick dry gloss enamel. And I thought, hey, why not? Give it a go, see how it goes. I uh, used the bright orange, I started with the undercoat, and the bright orange metallic charcoal. And they've even got a clear gloss, so I picked a can of that up. I think it was about seven fifty a can, so it wasn't too bad, but yeah, it gave it a pretty good shine. I'm pretty happy with it anyway. Orange is pretty full on, but and I thought I'd do some stripes on the roof. But I thought I might untape that and share it with you guys as I do it. I'll try and get the camera set up back over here. Oh, let's have a look. I love doing this part. And 
can use the charcoal for the stripes. So. Nice, I'm happy with that. What do you reckon, guys? Now, it's going to probably do something a little different on the back of the tray as well, so. Yeah, sweet, I like it. So, that's about it, guys. That's what I did in my last few days off. Now, uh, back to work tomorrow. Yeah, I get to work all weekend, so. You know, hey, guys, I nearly forgot to f show you the engine. I've got it all wired up. For the street charger. I reckon it came out pretty sweet. I was gonna loom the wires up, but I reckon it looks alright the way it is. Yeah, so I'll quickly show you that as well, guys. I forgot to do it in the first part, so. That's it guys, Benny Mac out, have a good one.